Hey guys, welcome. It's Paul Soros Jr., January 18th, 2012. And I have a special little video for you today for your consumption. And I am online right now on a private server with uh, Jay Margolis, and he is from NPR, National Public Radio. And we are about to get started on a little journey for one of his shows. It's a weekend show. And uh, I will post all the links to that in the video. It's going to air this weekend. Um, uh, it's all things considered. And uh, we're going to get started here in a few minutes. We're actually waiting for a couple of other special guests, too. And we'll get them all on Skype. And we'll get started uh, right away. We may play for half an hour or so. And we're going to get started right from the get-go. We're just going to start punching some wood and do some surviving. Um, so hang back. Uh, sit tight. Hang back. We'll be running here shortly. Let me just go see if they're on Skype yet. I'll be right back. Minecraft. Um, we're going to run around and dig. and I, I don't know. What, what are we going to do? We're going to explore a little bit, fight some monsters, and kind of make yeah. our way into the miney world. Wow. Yep, Probably we're, die. We're gonna see it. We'll most likely die multiple times because I think we should go down into this ravine and see how long we can survive. So why don't we... So when, when you are talking about what's going on in the game, definitely try to um, describe it as best as you can for somebody, of course, who can't actually see the scene. Mm -hmm. So Wes Wilson disappeared. Now he's back. Oh, yeah. And don't worry about it. I can edit everything later, but sure. just letting you guys know. All right, yeah, and thank you so much for joining me today to do this. I really appreciate you taking time to... Uh, to create some Minecraft magic for the radio. Yeah, well, thanks for having us. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Let the magic begin. <laughs> so why don't you? Oh, we hate what? playing Minecraft so much. <laughs> it's terrible. I just <laughs> fell down a hole. In the afternoon. Yeah. I noticed that. <laughs> already. I see you. Yes. Um, already. Well, maybe I'm we should all just join Paul you. I'm trying to push Paul down the hole, but <laughs> he noticed. wasn't falling in. <laughs> I just got my shift key down. <laughs> I know um, you well enough. Oh, so you're going to hit me down now. Yeah, so the idea of, uh, of at least at this early part of the game, is just to gather supplies and get prepared for the coming night. And so, so. I, I watched all of Paul's Season 2 videos when I was just starting to play, particularly for this piece, and... Um, so I consider myself almost an expert already. <laughs> <laughs> How many hundreds of hours have you seen so far? Probably <laughs> I, more than more than I can count. Actually, I can't count Good. that high. Yeah. Paul's videos are very helpful. <laughs> they are very helpful. Um, okay, so right now what we're, we're all gathering, we're all around gathering wood. I know I'm kind of crunching away here. And what are we going to do with all this wood the first night? Yeah, so basically everything in the game is made up of blocks, uh, the trees and the animals, the mountains and the hills and the rivers. So we're just breaking up these trees and gathering blocks of wood, which we will convert into tools and weapons. And we'll use those tools and weapons to essentially survive. So, um, so right now we'll just gather up some wood, convert them into planks, and I'll make a workbench. And you can probably it's kind of the more sophisticated here. the tool, the easier it becomes to so it, mine resources. Sure. Is is Minecraft better with people? Better with a lot of people? I, I think it depends on the person. Uh, yeah, um, I agree. With that. It it's certainly more fun if you if you have big creations that you want to share with other people. Um, since we do this on YouTube, we get to share our creations with our subscribers, but. If you're a single player, you don't get that opportunity if you don't post up YouTube videos. So, yeah, I think uh, for some people playing online and sharing what you're creating with other people is certainly um, is nice for those folks. But but I enjoy the single player, actually, just, just as much as the multiplayer. Yeah, I think people have different ways they play. I actually like just running around and adventuring more than building, so I don't really care if I'm in multiplayer. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I like it when I am in it, but... 
Well, since we're all together right now, I mean, are we going to build a little hidey hole for ourselves? Like, I, I'm really hungry right now. Uh, I'm dying, actually, <laughs> from hunger. From falling. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to fall in a second. But um, is that something that, I mean, that we should work on is, is building yeah. a house for ourselves? Yeah, we have a limited time of sunlight right now. So we've got about 10 minutes. And once the sun goes down, we get the creepy crawlies. We'll get skeletons and zombies and things will come out of the dark. And they will try to kill us. So we want to be prepared for that. And, and one of the things we should do is have some kind of shelter that we can at least hide into, uh, hide in until the mm -hmm. sun comes up. And then we can set forth and, and go out and do more adventuring and building. So I've made a, this right here that you're looking at is a crafting table. And if you right click on that and open it up, you can go ahead and make, now do you have any wood or any planks? I, I don't, I don't have planks yet, but I'm in the process of, I think I'm in the process of building them. Yeah. So go ahead and make yourself some planks, break those down into sticks. And if you've seen my tutorials, you know how to do all that, right? Yeah, you should, oh you should God, be able I'm to survive your first already. night. I mean, that is, that's Paul's, like, original video there, surviving the first night. That is surviving the first night. And then I've, I, well, some of your videos, uh, <laughs> Minecraft Chick, yeah, I, I know you didn't watch my tutorials. I know. <laughs> that was, that was great. No, I love those shows. Just learning it on your own, which is what I had to do before I made the videos, obviously. Mm-hmm. Which is okay, I built a pressure plate. I forgot how to build a plant. <laughs> that is the least useful thing that you can make right yeah, now. Right. <laughs> okay, I built a plank. I built a bunch. I built 12 planks. Oh, and I built a pressure plate just for fun, apparently. And another pressure plate. Whoops. But when we get to TNT, we can use that pressure plate to blow up animals and each other. It'll be Actually, fun. I made wooden slabs. Okay, sure. that's close. That's okay. good. You can right. probably that clobber something with a slab. There's a sheep behind you who just really wants you to give it some attention. It's like standing right behind you. <laughs> I can beat it with a wooden slab? Is that what you're you saying? You can hit it with a wooden slab if you'd like. <laughs> it's not going to be as effective as, say, a sword, but you can try. There you go. Poor so, sheep. okay. So where are we going? What are we going to do next? Oh, you hit me. <laughs> Here, I'll make you a... Uh, why don't we make a sword, a wooden sword? And there you go. Here's some sticks. Oh, man. Yeah, you kind of want all the essentials. At least one sword, one pickaxe, and one shovel. So right now in the world, there's snow all over the place. The little crunching sounds you hear are people walking around and the sheep walking around. And we're just trying to gather resources as it gets a little... It, it fades to dark, right? It right. slowly gets darker and darker. Mm -hmm. And then the monsters come out and we have to survive our first night. That's the first real That's objective. That's your first real test, yeah. right? Yeah. Getting through that which we really night. need some torches. Yeah, so, which I'm not feeling too optimistic <laughs> about. Yeah, I actually, I found some coal. I've so, got some coal on. here too. If you look down in this ravine, it's basically just a, a chasm. This, you can see right here in the side of the chasm, coal. These, so the these coal is spots. all, it's all, it's, uh, they're basically gray cubes with black spots on them. And we're, so we're going to combine the coal with wood to make little torches to keep us alive during the night, right? The torches mm -hmm. will provide light, right? And that'll keep monsters at bay somewhat. And, and obviously it gives us the ability to see what we're doing. So, <laughs> cause it gets kind of dark. There's actually a tiny little cave over here where oh. we could just kind of close part of it off and have a little, have a little shelter. It's kind of perfect. Oh, here you go. It nice just find. goes yeah. through just enough. Um, you can like build it so you can see out but so that things can't get in, which okay. is nice. So, so this entire world is randomly generated, right? Mm-hmm. Completely and so, random, yeah. And so we just came across a, you know, we came across a cave, and the whole point is that you create a little shelter for yourself so that when the monsters do come out, the zombies, the spiders, the little teleportation men that'll kill you as well. <laughs> Correct. Um, <laughs> and the creepers. The and the, the creepers. Yeah, the, uh, the real nightmare. All of which we will hear in a little bit, uh, so we could we need to protect ourselves from them. And I see you're throwing snowball. You can throw <laughs> snowballs when you gather snow. And yeah, so we have a little cave here. We can turn this into our uh, hidey hole. Yeah, hidey <laughs> hole. I usually dig the hidey hole, but since this is here, we might as well take advantage of it. And we can just block the doors. 
And I usually leave a couple of spaces to allow monsters in. It's it's more fun when you fighting for your life at night so yeah it's really boring to just sit in there and right. like stare really? out the first time that i did it i was i was alone and it was nighttime here in real life and i could i could hear the creepers creep and the zombie zomb and the zombie they, zomb. They, definitely they were gonna zomb. they I was, I was a little nervous. I got nervous. I was like, you know. It's terrifying sometimes if you're down in a cave, for example, or underground and it's dark and you're on your last few torches. And you can hear, like you said, you hear the sounds all around you. Um, and you never know where it's coming oh, from. Oh, I see skeletons already. Yeah, I heard I one. I need to yeah. close this off faster. <laughs> yeah, they'll shoot through. So the skeletons have bows. And they're the only creature that has a ranged weapon, so they, we have to be careful around them. But let's go see. Let me go see if I can draw one in. Yes. We'll get see, more sounds Paul is an adventurer. Show. Yeah, this, this is the way. <laughs> let's to see die. if we Leave can draw to one in. Yeah, hey, I know. I'm like, block it off. Block <laughs> it off. Paul's like, look. Actually, but it is so much more fun to go out and fight and die than it is to it just is, yeah. And we're so good at that too. Oh, here's a skeleton right over here on the ice. Except I hate skeletons. They shoot you from far away, and they're—I oh. think they're the most difficult thing to kill. They are tough. They I'll are flank tough because you can't get flank close, him. especially oh, on the ice. See, this, oh, see, this attack oh, team is a good idea. Oh, Paul just took him out. Oh, oh just, and then Jacob just smacked me. <laughs> I think Jacob tried to take credit for that at the end, but I did. no. Try total kill stealer. <laughs> Okay, oh, there's so, arrows on the ice. Yeah, so if they miss, if the, the skeleton shoot at you and miss, you'll usually find a whole bunch of arrows scattered around, stuck in the landscape. Uh, oh, we're going for a swim. Can you freeze to death in this game? You can't no. freeze to death, but you can drown. Yes. Oh, here's a zombie. I need food, by the way. I'm, there I'm are so many skeletons. Oh, 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 yeah, there's about three over there on the coast. Yes, I need to go by find your some food. zombies. <laughs> So it's totally logical that the moment all this is going on, my computer would have an previously unknown error, and my daughter would come in with totally soaking pants. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a, I just died. Oh, Jacob is down. I don't know where I am. Okay, now. I'm gonna bring you to me because you're way off. Jay. He's teleporting you, which you can do in multiplayer, because that's kind of nice. The world is so big that. If someone gets lost, you could Whoa. never find them. Never. Ever. Wow. Something's really not going well with my... Whoa. It, it may take a while for the uh, ah, map around you to load. Ah, shooting me. Watch out. There's when a zombie. you first get teleported. Ah, uh, yeah. Here he comes. Maybe if I hide in this hole, they'll <laughs> go away. Oh, I'm going to eat that rotten zombie flesh, if you don't mind. Uh, you may. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> crunch, crunch. That's all for you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's usually better roasted, but we don't have a fire. Now, oh, ooh, I see an I see an Enderman up in the tree up there. Yeah, and and Jacob, go ahead and over to that Enderman and just look right in his eyes. Then what happens? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, <laughs> that's how you uh, you charm them. Yeah. Well, if I know anything, which I do, because I've watched your videos. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, good we thing weren't I'm just... supposed to let him prepare. <laughs> good thing I'm just armed with snowballs right now. You know, I'm full of it. Oh, it's snowing! Whoa, it's Yay. snowing! Okay, so right now there's little there's little snow things coming down, like little. Uh, what do they look like? They're... Snowflakes that actually just float. Yeah. They actually, and... it really does look like this in Stockholm. Like when it was snowing really... the other day, it, it it just has this look. Like I never realized it before because I wasn't here, but. It's so So I, I think they patterned it after that. I can imagine well, getting a lot of snow there. Oh, I found jack-o'-lanterns and a zombie. Ooh. Can you kill things with snowballs? No, but it's nope. just fun. Like you can hit the sheep, and you can you can knock it knock into the off ravine. Its bowl. <laughs> so right now I'm battling a zombie. That's the munching sound you hear. Probably eating me. Flossy, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> oh, I'm, I think I'm getting double teamed by zombies. I want to throw a snowball at this sheep. 
Push it over the edge. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't eat the sheep. Uh, I'm gonna Ow. die. Oh, zombie. I'm on my way. I'm trying to push Sneak it over attack. the edge. So what's everybody doing right now? I'm killing your zombie. Um, I'm trying to push a sheep into the ravine. <laughs> it's not my finest moment. <laughs> 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 Here we go. It was Paul's idea. Now oh. he's trying to do it. <laughs> Would you follow me if I fell in? There he goes. Oh, oh look. okay. You he, did it. He landed oh, on that he... ledge about three feet okay, down. Okay, come on. Let's commit to this. Come on, sheep. I'm catching this oh. on film. Oh, dear. What, what happens? I think it survived. There's a body of water down there. I think it hit a river. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's oh, so disappointed. There, <laughs> We're going to say he survived and he went back to his family. There is a skeleton down there. Okay, so in this game right now, we're just kind of running around during the night, kind of battling monsters, and um, I'm back in our warm little hidey hole, and I can hear, I think I hear a, a creeper. That's what that, that hissing sound is, that? right? No, that's a spider, so oh, a spider. it sounds like there may be a cave beyond our cave, maybe a thin wall. Whoop. Yep, I just fell down into it. See if I can find that spider for you. You fell down into Again? <laughs> in, wait, in the little cave? If you come yeah. into our cave, there's definitely a spider nearby. Trying you to can, get a, You If you want to teleport me. It. Oh, shit. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I, have to, I have to beat that one out. I'm in a cave with the zombies, and I have all I have are blocks of wood. That tends to happen. I, I don't typically swear in mine, but if I do, I, I cut them out. We try to keep our podcast family friendly too. Well, this yeah. is, uh, you know, this is public radio. We get raunchy on here, so. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft does that to you, though. Oh, so no, I, I just fell into the ravine. Oh, no. Oh, Did you survive? That was karma after pushing the sheep down here. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I've come up against a creeper. Uh oh. That's, that's not good. Yeah, that's not. It, it takes a really long time to learn how to fight a creeper because you actually have to be pretty good at maneuvering back and forth in a certain pattern. Oh, shit. I'm dead. If you... <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering how long that was going to take. Yeah, no, I, that, was, that was pretty quick. Oh, you're not dead yet. Two of them just blew up and I I'm survived. Not quite dead. It, if okay. it makes you feel better, that is a standard response. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, about, about four or five seconds after you discover a creeper, it's usually, yep, crap, I'm dead. I did yeah. just, I did just.